When we think of health sciences, our first instinct might be doctors, nurses, patients, and hospitals. But each of those things is part of a larger medical system. For example, a recently unemployed parent of four might find themselves in need of medical care, but not know how they're gonna pay for it. A hospital manager might need new equipment for their staff, but already be over budget for their quarter. A doctor might need to consult a bigger organization of healthcare professionals for data and opinions when making a difficult diagnosis but not know how to get access to those resources. A health sciences professional could help solve all these problems. They might work on the insurance that covers the recently unemployed patient, or establish a hospital's exception policy that allows the family to receive care. They might be a government worker that lobbies internally to get additional funding for hospital supplies. Or they might be an administrative professional who organizes and spreads the word about a coalition of healthcare professionals that doctors can consult for advice. We don't always think about these aspects of the medical industry, but they are so important to its function. So if you're not sure you want to go to med school, but still want to help people, this may be the major for you. Hi, I'm Hank Green, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series presented in partnership with Arizona State University and Crash Course. In this episode, as you may have gathered, we will be focusing on health sciences. Health sciences is one of the broader majors we will talk about in this series. It includes topics like medicine, nutrition, population health, health policy, and the business of healthcare, just to name a few. In fact, most medical careers that don't require extensive advanced training, like becoming a doctor or a nurse, can start with a health sciences major. Every university that offers this major breaks it down in different, often overlapping ways. For example, at Arizona State University, students usually choose to focus in one of the following areas. Community based health outcomes, health legislation and regulation, integrated care, or language, speech, and communication. The community-based health outcomes track sets up graduates to help their community with health coverage and programs. You'll manage and market health programs, learn about population health, or explore disparities in the healthcare system. This is a great track for anyone looking to focus on caring for and working with their local community. In the health legislation and regulation track, you will look at the healthcare system from a more zoomed out perspective and dive into the world of policy. You'll learn management styles, economic principles, and the policy-making process, and an overview of the law as it relates to healthcare. This is a great choice for anyone looking to get involved in the medical industry on a higher level to advocate for patients like taking on a government position. The integrated care track puts a spotlight on theoretical and data-driven solutions to solve medical problems in our society. Students studying integrated care learn about things like substance abuse prevention or the prevention of chronic diseases in the U.S. This might be the way to go for anyone interested in approaching problems from the perspective of groups of people and how they behave. And finally, the language, speech, and communication track focuses on how people communicate. This is a great specific track for anyone interested in going into the field of speech pathology because students explore language, anatomical systems that underlie human speech and hearing, and communication disorders. Now, a health sciences major will not prepare you for going to a health professional school later on, like because a doctor or getting a master's in speech pathology, but it is flexible enough that students can also take the extra required courses in order to qualify for those schools later on. Now, these four tracks are specific to Arizona State University, and you will find that each school has its own unique health sciences tracks that you can choose from. But no matter what you choose, a health science major will teach you about the health and wellness of our world and the challenges and opportunities we face when trying to help people. And on top of how rewarding health sciences can be, employment in the healthcare industry is projected to grow 16 percent from 2020 to 2030 and add about 2.6 million jobs. As the general population ages, demand for healthcare services increases, which leads to this increase in jobs. Now, as a health sciences major, your courses will generally be a mix of social, behavioral, and natural sciences. All of the science. So you'll take things that traditionally spring to mind when we hear the word science. Like you might take a few biology courses like anatomy and physiology, genetics, or molecular biology. That way, you will be prepared for the parts of your healthcare career that involve talking about medical issues and how they affect the human body. Generally, you'll take some chemistry labs, too, to help you understand medicines at a basic level. But the health sciences major is more interested in the healthcare field overall. In those first two years, you'll also build social science knowledge in subjects like sociology,
biology, economics, and psychology. After all, a big part of healthcare is understanding how humans behave on an individual level and across a whole society. You'll need to spend time learning about humans in order to take care of communities and educate people thoughtfully. Along with those fundamentals, you'll take more specific courses and possibly choose a track, like the ones we mentioned before at ASU. At other schools, you might run across other health sciences tracks, like pre-dental, pre-physician assistant, and pre-pharmacy, which set you up for different kinds of continued education after receiving your undergraduate degree, though the names vary widely. And the healthcare field is big. There are lots of different facets to study. Looking at a long list of advanced health science courses might feel intimidating, but think about what interests you and the way you want to help the healthcare system. For instance, you might take epidemiology, which is the study of the spread and determinants of health events like diseases, if you want to get into statistics or data. You might take aging and society if you want to learn about how our bodies and needs change with age, or drugs and health if you want to learn about addiction, why people use drugs, and effects of substance substance abuse on health and society. Some programs might also require that you do an internship or get experience working in a professional setting, like a hospital or community health center, to earn your degree. And while there are many jobs that you can land with an undergraduate degree, it's important to mention that many people who study health sciences have plans to continue their education. This is a starting point to become dentists, physical therapists, physician assistants, or other positions that require a graduate degree. These kinds of students usually work with an advisor to plan and take courses that that prepare them for this continued education. So it's okay if that's not for you. You can pick a career path, read about the coursework and qualifications, and change your mind if you want. Like we've said, the health industry contains lots of different ways to help people, like hospital administration or public health. Because the health sciences major is so broad, it can appeal to pretty much anyone who likes all the different areas of science and wants to help, especially if you're interested in the health and well-being of the people of the world. Generally, students who are self starters, are energetic, and possess strong leadership qualities are good fits for this field, since something like shaping the future of healthcare takes initiative and a lot of perseverance. If you start a health sciences major and decide you want to switch, you might consider pivoting and studying something related, like healthcare administration. Or if you're more interested in the clinical, natural science side, another similar major is nursing. The main difference between a bachelor's of nursing and a bachelor's of health sciences is that nursing majors will ultimately care for patients directly, whereas most most health sciences majors would need additional training. Of course, all majors come with their challenges, and health sciences is no different. While the broadness can be really appealing, students and graduates have mentioned that it can be really hard to find jobs with this undergraduate degree, and that it's more suited to be an introduction to a graduate degree than a springboard into the medical industry. So whether it's deciding on a track or carefully picking your practical experiences like internships, it's important that you have an idea of your desired career when you go into a health sciences program. You can still use college to explore, but it can help to focus on some related courses to prepare you for a more specific future path. You can also keep in mind that the number of jobs in healthcare are increasing, so the outlook might become even more promising in years to come. Graduates are also finding that medical technology is changing so fast that some of the training they receive in school becomes quickly out of date, and basically the only way to keep up with new technology is to experience it firsthand. So your education will give you the framework you need to move forward, but there will always be new things to learn from your career as technology and our understanding of healthcare continues to evolve over time. No matter what classes you take in the health sciences major, you will learn transferable skills that will help you in any career. Things like the ability to work in a team, excellent organization, leadership, knowledge of the U.S. healthcare system, problem solving, and the ability to take initiative. If you want to make a difference in the healthcare industry, it's a good idea to have some idea of what you want to do while you're still taking classes so you have time to prepare for that future job. For example, if you choose to work in healthcare administration, you might want to take more classes on healthcare policy and organizational skills than you would on speech and language. Or if you want to study the effect that addiction has on communities, you might want to take more classes about human behavior and chemistry than managerial skills. And talking about salaries can be hard because they can vary greatly depending on location, experience, and the part of the healthcare industry you're working 
opinion, but the average base salary for someone with a bachelor's in health sciences is $65,000 per year, and the average for the field overall is about $70,000. For example, the median salary for a health educator is about $57,000, and the median community health specialist makes about $42,000 per year. They often work together to create programs to promote positive health practices, connect people with the health care they need, and become an advocate for communities in need of health care. You can also work as a health care administrator and make about $73,000 per year. They manage general operations of a facility like a hospital by keeping track of schedules, finances, and methods to improve workplace efficiency. Or a clinical research coordinator makes about $65,000 per year. They manage clinical studies and trials by recruiting participants, documenting processes and results, and can communicate results. And those are just some of the many job titles out there. Overall, studying health sciences prepares you to enter the medical world with a broad foundational knowledge of the industry alongside specific career skills. It's a great way to set yourself up to help people in a growing job sector. In particular, it can prepare you in often broader and more community-oriented ways than being a doctor or nurse seeing individual-specific patients. Health sciences majors are set up to make meaningful change in the medical industry by helping people get the health coverage and medical care they need, making sure hospitals are equipped with the tools that they need to save lives and keep their patients healthy, or informing communities about ways to maintain a healthy lifestyle. If this sounds exciting, then health sciences might be the major for you. Thanks for watching. If you want to investigate more degrees before choosing a major, like we all should, check out our other videos to look into more majors and find the one that's right for you. This series is part of the Study Hall program, a partnership between Arizona State University and Crash Course. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like, and you can comment to let us know how you chose your degree or how you're struggling to choose a degree or what you wish you had known before you started your degree.